Good morning, Church at Liberty Park. Today we're on Joshua chapter 15. Now, as you read chapter 15 and, and the next few chapters, um, it, it may seem kind of boring to you and you may think, what's the significance of, of all these details? Um, but hopefully we can, can point out a few important truths. Um, so it, you'll notice in, in verse 15, or excuse me, in chapter 15 through chapter 19, uh, it talks about the detailed account of how the land was allotted to the tribe of the tribes of Israel. Now, today in, in chapter 15, it specifically talks about how the land was allotted to the tribe of Judah. Now, when you hear the tribe of Judah, uh, it should catch your attention because uh, we, we remember that the Messiah, uh, the promised one from the Old Testament, that Jesus was from the, the tribe of Judah. Also, think about this. Uh, we know that Joshua took the people into the promised land. And however, Jesus takes us into God's very presence uh, through the cross, through his life and death and resurrection. And so Jesus leads us into an even greater promised land. Uh, the Bible describes this as the, the new creation, the new heavens and earth that it talks about in Revelation 21 and 22. Uh, think back to the Garden of Eden in Genesis 1 and 2, uh, and, and this new creation will be even better than it was in, in the Garden of Eden. Uh, here in the new creation, there will be uh, no more sickness or death, or, uh, no more sin, no more sorrow, uh, and we will have uh, perfect fellowship with God and, and perfect fellowship with, with one another. Um, and so what a great hope we have in Jesus. Hope you enjoyed Joshua 15 today.